How's it going YouTube? Today I'm showing off my MB Court Stage 5 system. We just had it installed in this 2021 Can Am X3 Maverick Turbo RR XRS. So this system consists of two dash speakers. It also comes with this head unit. So this is a MB Court head unit. And then there's two pod speakers here on the back cage. And then there's a subwoofer under the seat. So it's down facing. So you can see the box here. One, two, three, four, four speakers, and then a subwoofer under the seat, and then the head unit. So far, the system gets really loud and sounds really clean at full volume. So we're pretty impressed with this system already. The system will only run when the engine is on. So right now, the engine is going and the system is going as well. But if we turn off the engine, it will play for about 30 seconds to a minute until the electronics turn off and then it'll turn off as well. We don't have this set up to run when it's powered off. This is more of a system that you use when you're driving versus stopping to party. All right, so let's hear this thing. Unfortunately, I can't play anything super well known because of YouTube's copyright. So I'm gonna have to play some YouTube free music, but you can get a good sense of how it sounds here. So I'm playing with Bluetooth from a different phone here. Sounds really good. It's not too loud from out here, which is good. It's in the back here. Sub was bumping pretty good on that song. I'm gonna change the song here.
gonna switch the song one more time and, and this isn't full volume either um, I'm kind of managing the volume here it's a new system I don't want to go full volume right off the bat but So it gets pretty loud, as you can tell. Sound quality is great on this one. Alright, so now that the engine is off, the radio turned off as well. So this system is made for actually driving and listening to music versus posting up somewhere and having a, a party with the music. So for the, the party music, you'd probably want to look at an audio roof or a Rockford Fosgate system, uh, something with more speakers that face out because these dash speakers are meant to face in at the driver and passenger and it sounds great when you're driving 50 miles an hour no problem hearing there's also a bass knob right here so you can adjust how much bass is coming through separately yeah. <laughs> comes with Bluetooth of course and you can switch the source here so it's got weather FM AM radio you can hook up a backup camera to this which I didn't get any of that and there's also a USB cable but I think that has to be done while it's being installed you have to run a USB cable from behind uh, there's also an aux port but you also have to run that cable behind so we just did just regular Bluetooth for now all right, so here's the user manual and the model number, just in case you want to go look at it for yourself. So the uh, user manual actually shows that there's a yellow and a red wire. So I'm guessing that it could be hooked up to be played while you're stationary, but you'd probably need, and while the engine is off, but you'd probably need a new battery, like another battery or a really powerful battery. All right, just another note on this. The install guys were really good. There's no wires poking out. You can't really see any visible wires. So I believe they ran the wires through the cage, which is a nice clean install. You don't see any wires. And then coming up to the dash speakers here as well. Another thing to note is the speaker is up here. This person's head would be right here, but it's not actually that loud and that piercing. It's not super piercing when you're sitting here. The speaker is not going to break your eardrum sitting back here. They're pretty well balanced and people are going to be wearing helmets back here anyway for our unit. It sounds great in the back seat. We didn't go for the rugged radio or any kind of intercom system because we don't really care to talk too much while we're out driving and we figured music would be better, a better listening experience. All right, so here's what we've all been waiting for, the price. So total price installed, $26.54. The parts for the stereo itself, $18.99. The labor was about $770 to install, total $26.54. So this is one of the cheaper systems. Everything else we looked at was about $3,500 and up. It's a very affordable option, it sounds great, and we're really happy with it so far. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.